Hello, the PowerPoint presentation you're about to watch is over type 2 diabetes. 5.9% of the United States population has diabetes. I chose to research this topic because my family falls within that 5.9%. Hopefully you or someone you know will find this information educational and useful. Please enjoy. Some of the things that this presentation will cover are things like who has diabetes? What is diabetes? What is type 2 diabetes? Causes of type 2 diabetes? Symptoms of type 2 diabetes? How to prevent and control type 2 diabetes? Parts of your body that diabetes affects? Is there a cure? And educate yourself about diabetes and resources. Who has diabetes? Does she have diabetes? Does he have diabetes? You cannot tell by your physical appearance. So what is diabetes? Well, diabetes affects 25.8 million children and adults in the U.S. Diabetes can be referred to as a chronic disease characterized by high levels of sugar or glucose in the blood. How does this happen? First, glucose, glucose enters the bloodstream from the food we eat. This is later used for fuel in the body. Our pancreas makes insulin, which plays a role in moving glucose to muscles, liver cells, and fat. The pancreas then fails to make enough insulin or the muscle, fat, or liver cells fail to respond to the insulin properly. As a result, our body cells are starving for energy and over time, high glucose levels change our overall health, damaging the kidney, heart, eyes, and nerves. Although type 1 and type 2 diabetes have similar effects, type 1 is much more severe. So what is type 2 diabetes? Well, type 2 diabetes, which is an, an adult onset diabetes, it's when your body doesn't produce enough insulin or cells ignore its presence. This results in high blood sugar levels and your body's use of fat as energy. Type 2 diabetes is the most common. 90% of diabetes patients are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and commonly developed among adults 21 and older, although type 2 diabetes can develop in anyone. So what are the causes of type 2 diabetes? Well, there's many factors, but some of the main factors are hereditary, family history, being passed down from your mother or your father, poor diets, being overweight, not taking care of your body, poor quality of living environments, again, not taking care of your body, or high blood pressure and cholesterol. What are some symptoms of type 2 diabetes? Well, that can be frequent visits to the bathroom, blurry vision, short temper, extreme thirst or hunger, low energy, or sores that don't seem to heal. In some cases, there's actually no symptoms at all. So just because you don't have symptoms doesn't mean you're not, you do not have diabetes. So now more importantly, how to prevent or control type 2 diabetes. Well, we must start with eating healthy and being active. That plays with taking care of your body. Control your blood pressure. Do not smoke. And make sure that you have regular doctor checkups. And if you have to take medication, take it as directed. Diabetes does take effect to certain parts of your body. Overall, in one way or another, it affects your whole body. But some of the main parts are your heart, your kidneys, your eyes, your nervous system, and your skin. Some things that can be long-term complications due to diabetes would be chances of a stroke, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, heart disease. But overall, like I said, one way or another, that diabetes can affect your whole body. So, for the big question, is there a cure? Unfortunately, there's not a cure for diabetes yet. Don't give up. There's always new facts and discoveries being made every day. Treatments can lower symptoms, so continue to exercise and eat right. Most importantly, educate yourself. Know what you need to know about diabetes. You can find information in, in any kind of books that pertain to diabetes at your local library or even in bookstores. 
You can find multiple websites online. Read your statistics. Learn about how to eat good and exercise. And if you need extra support, join a support group. You're not the only one out there with diabetes. There's lots of people out there that can join you and support you. Remember, take control of your life. Don't let diabetes control you. That concludes my presentation on type 2 diabetes. It is important to keep in mind, however, that the country's population and young people represent the new face of diabetes. The challenge before us is how best to allocate resources, provide grassroots education, and improve access to quality diabetes care for future generations. Please take care of yourself to live a happier and longer life.